All right, let's uh, let's switch to. gears a little bit, and we reference this in headlines. Brett McMurphy, who obviously we've had on this show many, many times, friend of the program, uh, he mentioned that there is momentum building with Texas and Oklahoma possibly leaving for the SEC a year early. Obviously, there is a buyout involved. So Oklahoma can afford it now? <laughs> well, because we look, knew Texas. Could. Yes. Well, they look. There's <laughs> always there was always going to be a negotiation on that buyout, yeah. but it, it kind of felt like everybody had pushed that to the side because you hadn't heard a lot about it. Brett Mayer Murphy saying that maybe instead of leaving after the 24 season, they're going to be in one year with the, the four new schools and then bail yeah. to the SEC. Um, do you care if Texas and Oklahoma are in the Big 12 and BYU gets there? Well, they will be for at least a year, right? It right. sounds like. Do, you um, care if do I want early? them for two? I do. I want them in. I, I just think it'll be fun. Um, we'll have the league without them for plenty of time. Um, I would like them in for two because – I reminded everyone, BYU is 4-1 versus Texas and 2-0 versus Oklahoma in football. I would like to keep that going. Uh, that's pretty good. And obviously, like in women's volleyball, Texas has, was number one for most of the year. If they come to Provo, that's an exciting game. More of those type of matchups. Obviously, every game you play in any sport with those two, big brands, big names, really good at almost everything. Yeah, I care. I want them in the league for two. Um, and it would also increase the possibility of home games with them yeah. in football. And so I say, yeah, too, because if it was just one and BYU suddenly plays two road or not at all, it's like, ah, oh, missed a chance to get some quality games there. Yeah, if, if the original plan was for the four new schools, and this is kind of what I theorized on the show last week, that the four new schools probably aren't going to get both of them in the same year. You're probably going to get one one year and one the other and let the exist. We don't know. We'll I, I was just I was just throwing that out there. If you don't get one of them, that would certainly stink. Do I care? Ultimately, no. I'm, I'm in the mode with this that with BYU in, that's what I care about. But we've known that for but, over but a I, year but, now. Now but we can like, move on to okay, Yes, but things, like, like, I still want BYU's first game. Like That's, that's when this is all going to be real. All the other yeah. stuff I don't care too much about once we're in it. Mm -hmm. and we have things to be able to talk about in the conference, then I can start worrying about some, oh, well, we didn't get to face Oklahoma. You know, right now, I, I just want BYU in. I'm happy that they're in, and I look forward to the schedule coming out next year. You're, like, afraid they won't be in? No, no, no. I just in already? We know they're in. I just want to see it. Once we get to July 1. what, the schedule? No, that it's done. Like, that it's official. We start seeing logos see, on see, stuff. Do you like, legal paperwork? I, like, I, no, I just <laughs> want it to be officially official. And I want to see logos on fields. We saw UCF. Mom and dad are going to break no, up. No, but we saw UCF over the weekend. Their social media putting out the the Big 12 logo on their you have field. Swag with logos. What's I know. That? Don't take this away you from me. I just more, want that moment. More. So the other stuff I don't care about. If we don't play him, fine. As long as BYU's in, I don't care.